Hi students, you are welcome in this teaching learning process. Today we are going to discuss about the poem The Twins written by Henry Sambrook in Unit 2nd 2.3. The title of our poem is The Twins. It is very simple title. And we get information from this title what is this poem is about. We know that this poem is about the twins. Do you know what is meant by twins? Two babies born at the same time to the same mother is called twins. It may be two brothers or two sisters or one brother and one sister. Here is the chit chat activity and we discuss about it. So all of you open your textbook and see on page number 57. Question number first, two babies born at the same time are called twins. Guess and sure who are triplets, quadruplets and quintuplets. Triplets means three babies born at the same time to the same mother. Quadruplets and quintuplets means four and five babies born at same at the same time to the same mother respectively. In this chit chat activity question number second imagine you had an ideal identical twin brother or sister imagine and share with your classmates what prank you two would play on your, fr on your friends elders and family and even in school. Creating confusion, the answers may be creating confusion due to your similarity, saying others name for mistakes and blaming each others for the mistakes. In second part, there is also first question, study the following pairs or groups of words, cup and saucer, needle and thread. Board and paste. Take a risk. Sip tea, coffee, hide and seek, etc. These are sets of words that more, more than often to go together and occur together. We call such sets collocation. Do you know what is meant by collocation? Collocation means the combination of words in the language that happen very often. Insert the proper word from the bracket to form collocation. Here are given some words and you make the collocation. These words are offer, time, defeat, clothes, owners, necessary, role, interview, morning, cold. First A, um, absolutely necessary, cannot afford, formal, clothes, job, interview, pass, time, accept, defeat, early, morning, catch, a cold, leading, role, and join owners. Here is also third question, and third question is about figure of speech. Exaggeration or overstatement often causes humor. For example, C is thin as a pin. Means here is the figure of speech and the name of our figure of speech is hyperbole. What is meant by hyperbole? Hyperbole is overstatement in exaggeration. Here are some 
examples of this hyperbole first example is c is thin as a pin means it is impossible c is a human being and as like a pin means much smaller is very impossible so there is a figure of speech hyperbole and here is the another example he has a pea seized brain means it is also impossible thing because you know the size of brain is also a third is my shoes like are carrying shoes is the so it is also a perfect example of hyperbole complete the following example of hyperbole using words from the bracket below and all of you solve this activity yourself and if you have any doubt ask me i will read the poem it is very funny and humorous poem one of the twins is the central idea of the poem is poet depicted senseless and absurd mistakes in the life of twins this poem is very funny and humorous one of the twin is the speaker in this poem in in this poem the twins are so alike because of that no one identify them separately now i will read the poem stanza by stanza and so you are on the uh, come on page number 58 in form and features face and limb i grew so like my brother that folks got taking me for him and each for one another it pulls her all our kith and kin it reached a fearful pitch for one of us was born a twin it not a soul knew which in the opening stanza the poet tells that right from his birth poet and his brother grew similar in the form and feature face and limb um, limb by form and feature means physical structure and appearance and because of their physical resemblance the poor people mis mistook them for each other all the relatives all the relatives and friends were confused and at at this time the confusion is very high level it was certain that one of the twins one of them is twins but no one knew who that twin is means his brother or the speaker is the twin in this poem the second stanza one day to make the matter worse before our names were fixed as we were being washed by nurse we got completely mixed and thus you see by fate's decree or rather nurse whim my brother john got christian me and i got christian him in the second stanza the speaker speaks about absurd mistakes at the naming ceremony is before naming ceremony their name were fixed the nurse washed them before the naming ceremony and at that time both are completely mixed up to each other this poet says that thus because of because of the because of uh, because 
thus it was either due to the nurse mistake or because of destiny's decision their name were interchanged means speaker got the name of his brother and his brother got the name of speaker the fatal likeness even dog hit my footstep when at school i was always getting frogged for john turned out a fool i put this question fruitlessly to everyone i knew what would you do if you were me to prove that you were you and in the third stanza stanza the poet depicted that how this physical similarity was chased him in his school days also when his brother john makes any mistake the speaker got punishment for it and speaker desperately asked a question to anyone what he should do if he was in place of the speaker means speaker want to ask the the person what one how one could be at prove one's identity our close resemblance turn the tide of my domestic life for somehow my intended bride become my brother's wife in fact year after year the same absurd mistakes went on and when i died the neighbors came and buried brother john and in the concluding stanza poet depicted that how his domestic life is also affected because of their physical resemblance and there is a absurd mistakes happen in the life of poet miss he intended a girl for mary becomes his brother's wife and such type of absurd mistakes and senseless mistakes went on upon the end of his life at last the speaker died at the time all the neighbors came and buried his brother john the poet uses an extreme exaggeration to achieve the poetic effect in this way this poem is rhythmic and it is very enjoyable poet has created humor here to make everyone laugh do you understand in this poem there are four stanzas and there is the figure of speech is also is figure of speech is alliteration pun and hyperbole alliteration means when the when the consonant sounds are repeated at the beginning of the word is called alliteration and here is the example of alliteration in the first stanza first line you see in form and feature face and limb means yes sound is repeated here so here is it is the example of alliteration there is also the uh, second figure of speech is pun and uh, it is it comes in the second stanza sorry third stanza the word carry double meaning and there is pun 
John turned out a fool. And a third figure of speech is hyperbole. And that uh, hyperbole is in the last stanza. And when I died, the name died, the neighbors came and buried brother John. Means this is over statement. It is impossible to, to bury a living person. The rhyming scheme of our poem is A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D. By this way, our poem 2.3, the twins, is ended here. If you like it, you sh share and su subscribe my channel and share it to your friends for their study. Thank you.